Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dana Banana. I've been meaning to film this. This is a full face of my current drugstore favorites. When I say drugstore, I do mean affordable, but not always something that you can just get at like Walgreens or Walmart. Most of the products you can just run into a store and grab, but some of them are still very affordable, but you might have to get them online or at Ulta or something, you know. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there, but everything is affordable. <laughs> you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while, at the end of the day, I will always be the biggest fan of drugstore products. Yes, I love some of my high-end products, but I believe that you can do anything. You can conquer the world with drugstore products. You really can. Like, you do not need high-end makeup. You don't. I will review high-end makeup and, you know, let you know if I do think something is worth it, if you're willing to splurge, but I don't believe that you absolutely need anything high-end. The way that drugstore makeup has evolved over the years is absolutely incredible. It deserves more recognition and I'll always do videos on drugstore products like it's just my thing it's what i like i just love giving you affordable recommendations so yeah i just wanted to do another drugstore video just kind of my favorites do change every so often a lot actually but some do stay the same so but i just like to do these videos just to let you know what my current favorites are keep you updated on what i'm loving so yeah if you want to see how i got this look and what drugstore products i am loving right now then just keep on watching why do i always forget to say this don't forget to subscribe please subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Don't forget to like or dislike my videos. Either way, it helps me out. And leave a comment if you stop by because I love hearing from you guys. Okay, now we can get into the video. So I already did this side. And so I'm going to tell you what I'm using and then I'm going to fast forward the eye part just, you know, so we don't waste too much time. Oh, for my eyebrows, I use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I love this stuff. It's one of my favorite brow pomades. It's really, really good. Then for my eyes, I used the Makeup Geek Champagne and Rosé palette. I've talked about these before in a video, and I used this palette, the peach bellini one so i've been wanting to use this one in a video these are definitely my favorite oh drugstore like i want to say drugstore because makeup geek is sold at target but i don't believe this palette is at target you can get it online though i haven't seen it at my targets if you've seen it at yours let me know in the comments i have two huge targets around me and neither of them have it so I don't know. Maybe it's just my city. I don't know. I know for sure it's online. Man, guys, my brain is all over the place today. I like these palettes because, I don't know, the colors are just really easy to work with. They're stunning. I've swatched them. You've seen my swatches. I think you have. If you follow me on Instagram, I've swatched both of these. They're just beautiful palettes. They're super pigmented. They're creamy. The shimmers are extremely creamy and I just like the like I just like the color combos in both of them they're really nice yeah so just thought I'd mention these and use them so uh yeah I'm using this one the champagne and rosé in this video and then for eyeliner I'm using the NYX matte liner and then for lashes, I am using the Eyelore Lux Cashmere number four lashes. <laughs> this is just the packaging, but this is what they look like. I've already worn these once. I already have one on my eye. They still look brand new. So uh, it says you can get uh, up to 15 wears with it. So I can definitely see that because the band is pretty sturdy, but it's still a really comfortable band. And I just love how like fluffy and wispy they are. You can't really tell on camera, but they're really, really nice. So yeah, that's what I'm putting on my eyes. So I'm gonna fast forward this whole thing. To prime my eyes, I am using the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. 
I've been using this pretty consistently for the past few weeks. I still love my P. Louise base, but this is a really good option if you cannot afford P. Louise or if you just don't feel like waiting for P. Louise. I've seen this at multiple Ulta's and they're always in stock of it. And it's a super full coverage. It makes my eyeshadow last all day. It is slightly more like, dr it dries down way more matte than the P. Louise base, but that does not that doesn't affect my eyeshadow in a negative way. So yeah, I really like this stuff. So I'm gonna put this on, use the Makeup Geek Champagne and Rosé palette, the Eyelore Lashes, and the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. think of this eye look I love it I think I'm gonna pair it with a dark lip now we're gonna move on to the face and I'm priming with my elf lip from within I have talked about this in multiple videos multiple times I've been using like this for at least like nine or ten months on and off this is probably my fifth tube of it I have other drugstore primers that I love but this one I always go back to. This is the best I have found for my skin. Um, I Now I do not believe it would be the best for oily skin because it is extremely moisturizing on me and it does have a slight bit of a um, like not slippery but like oily feel to it. Not super oily. It's hard to explain but it works really well on my dry skin and I just um, if you've used it on oily skin let me know how it works for you but I just know that it works really well on my dry skin so we're gonna put it on my face man it's been sunny for two days and we haven't had that in so long like it's been forever since we've had like first off an entire day of Sun like it's like I live in Seattle right now. It's been so gloomy for like months. It's been so bad. So these past two like sunny days are just making me so happy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, for foundation, I've been talking about, I've been using this regularly, regularly again. This is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This is just, out of everything, it's my all-time favorite. I still love my Hard Candy Glamouflage and my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation, but this is just my go-to number one. I, this, I recommend this for oily and dry skin. It's just such a beautiful, long-lasting foundation that I feel like is good for most people. And I am using the shade Buff Beige. And I'm using this Real Techniques B03 brush to buff it in. I'm sure you can all guess what I'm about to use for my concealer. I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear and I am in the shade Fawn, I believe. Yes, Fawn 340. This is my favorite concealer out of drugstore high end. It's comparable to Tarte Shape Tape, except even better than Tarte Shape Tape. It's not nearly as drying. I love this stuff. It's such a nice concealer. 
and I have to say like this bottle is lasting me quite a while probably because I don't use as much of it as I do like other concealers um, I'm a f I'm obsessed with like super full coverage so even when a concealer is pretty full coverage I add a lot of it but with this one I don't add nearly as much this sponge I'm using is the Shop Messe sponge. This is the one that, I don't know exactly what it's called, but on it it says like two times softer. And it's like, or like online on the site it says two times softer. And it definitely is softer. It's the best feeling sponge I have ever used. And it's one dollar. Like... That's amazing. Oh yeah, so I bought a bunch of somebody, one of my subscribers, Karina, I believe that's her name. Hey beautiful. She asked me if I could review some of their like foundations and I think she has concealers too. So I decided to just get a bunch of, I got some concealers, I got some of their foundation, I got some blush, bronzer, I just got a whole bunch of their complexion products. So as soon as that comes in, I will be doing a, like a trying out Shop Miss A's um, complexion products video and I'm so excited for that because I do like a lot of their stuff and everything is a dollar so you cannot freaking beat that if it's good and they're cruelty free as well. To set my concealer, you guys already know probably, if you're new here, this is my all time favorite setting powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. So I used to be a huge fan of, I still am, a huge fan of the Patrick Star MAC powder, but that one's really hard to get a hold of. So it's not like, I don't like recommending it because it's just way too hard to get a hold of, which, that's just their marketing technique, I guess. But when I started using this, I realized the similarities. Like, it's not exactly the same, but it's extremely similar. And I actually prefer this one over that, over the MAC one. So, yeah. It's super finely milled. It does not have flashback whatsoever. And it's it sets and makes my skin look flawless but it's not drying at all you can bake with it i sometimes bake with it but i really my skin's dry i don't need to bake to be honest i need to give my dog attention before she starts making a bunch of noise say hi guys oh <laughs> you look good on camera she's my best friend and she likes to make noises around 3 o'clock during my videos because she wants to go outside. Okay, so for all over setting powder, this is actually a newer favorite of mine. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it in a video. I do believe I filmed with it before, but I've been using it more regularly <laughs> more regularly now. And I've realized that, you know... It's, it's something that I'm really enjoying. It's the NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder. It's just like the Stay Matte by Rimmel. It's super finely milled. So, ooh. <laughs> so it doesn't dry my face out and it just gives a really flawless look. I feel like, like more finely milled products are the best for dry skin. I do, like, I really enjoy NYX's powders. I do not like the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. It's just way too drying for me. But I do absolutely love the NYX Hashtag No Filter. This is a compact powder. I really like that one as well. It's, like, the motto is stay matte, not flat. And it works, it works really, really well. But I'm almost out of that and I haven't been able to find it. It's always out at my Ulta. Okay, now I'm going to contour. And for contour, I love the <laughs> Koki Powder Contour. Yeah, Powder Contour Palette. I gave this away in a video, in a giveaway. 
that's how much I like it. You know I love a product when I give it away in a giveaway because I don't. that's just how I am. I give away stuff that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Like I don't give away stuff I'm like meh about. So when I give it away in a giveaway, how many times am I going to say that in one minute? Um, you know that I love it. And obviously, you know I love something when I hit pan on it. That's the biggest sign, obviously. But this is my favorite shade. need it but I want to talk about this bronzer and use it this is the makeup revolution baked vivid baked bronzer sorry my ring light is like eh. this is what it looks like any of the makeup revolution ba vivid baked products I absolutely love I love their vivid baked blush but they don't have it at my Ulta's anymore which is really upsetting so I'm using the Vivid Baked Bronzer. I'm not adding any more to my forehead. That is not needed. For blush, since I don't have any of my favorite shades of the Vivid Baked Blush, I'm using this one. It's the Kiko Milano in Smart. This is also one of my favorite types of blushes. You cannot get this in a drugstore, but Kiko Milano is extremely affordable. Depending on what city you're in, you might be able to find a store that sells it. I'm not sure about Europe. Like, I don't know if they sell these in drugstores or what, but I know here, like, they have a store in New York, and that's where I got all of my Kiko products, but they're extremely inexpensive. And they last on me like really well and I love this shade so much especially when I'm self tanned I love putting blush on my nose I'm gonna go off camera and do my lower lash line I'm gonna use the same champagne and rosé palette and oh for my inner corner, I didn't do this inner corner yet, but for my inner corner and um, my brow bone, I used the other palette. I used the Makeup Geek Peach Bellini palette, and I used this color, the Prosecco. This one, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's a great brow bone highlighter and inner corner highlighter. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'll do that, and oh, I'll go ahead and put on some eyeliner and like some liner on my waterline and mascara for mascara my current favorite is the essence get big lashes i asked on twitter i believe one day like what was the blackest drugstore mascara people had ever tried and a lot of people said this one so i started using this and i'm actually almost out of this i need a new one but this is my favorite drugstore mascara and then for my waterline my favorite thing to use is the maybelline eye studio it's just like a gel liner and it's in blackest black this is one that seriously lasts forever in my waterline. That is so hard to find for me. I've got really watery eyes and this lasts. It's super, super black. It's such a nice eyeliner. If you're looking for a really black matte gel liner, this is a really good one. I can't believe I don't talk about this more in my videos, but this is like my favorite. Okay, so off camera, I exfoliated my lips and put some chapstick on or some lip balm uh I've, i feel like i need to mention this i've been using the burt's bees coconut and pear moisturizing lip balm and i'm obsessed with it this is by far the best lip balm i have ever used i feel like it does amazing things for my lips just thought i'd mention that so for lipstick i'm gonna try something if i don't like it i'm gonna try something else but I mean, I know I like this. I wanted to put this in this video because I feel like I don't talk about them enough. I'm always talking about the Maybelline Superstays, which are the longest lasting, most comfortable liquid lipsticks ever. But I still, I did a lip swatch video on these, the Koki lip powders, and I 
love these. I Every time I wear these, I get compliments on it. Um, they're not as long-lasting as the Maybelline Superstay, but they still last a good amount of time. They're extremely comfortable on the lips. They're, it's not drying at all, and when it does start to fade, it fades in a nice way. It's not like anything drastic, and you can easily reapply, and it doesn't like build up and get all like crusty and stuff it builds up nicely just thought i'd mention that this is in the shade secrecy so i'm gonna put this one on and see if i like it with this look if not i'll go for a lighter look i always end up with more nude looks but i more nude lips but i am trying to use more of my um actual colored liquid lipsticks because i don't know i feel like honestly I need to focus more on my lips because I'm always so focused on the face and eyes and a lot of times I just don't, I put nothing on my lips. So I want to, I don't know, get out of my comfort zone, start putting more colors on my lips. Okay, so while this is drying down to the matte-ness that I prefer, I'm going to put on some highlighter. So my favorite of all time, favorite out of high-end, drugstore, everything, is the Soph X, the Makeup Revolution is Soph X highlighting palette, highlighter palette. So I'm going to go in with this one right here. This is my favorite one. So for setting spray, I've got... I've got a couple that I like a lot. The two that I'm going to mention today, I've been using them together. My favorite is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I just think this really does make my makeup last and it doesn't dry me out or anything. I just really like it. And then also I talked about this on Instagram and this is the Makeup Revolution Glow Revolution Prime, Prime Set Glow. Um, it's this one, it's the shade the Eternal Gold, and then they have a more like bronzing one, but you have to shake it before you use it, and it gives the most beautiful like golden glow. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I've been using it every single day since I first tried it out. So I'm going to spray this, but I haven't tested it out for the like lasting power. I do need to try it on its own. I mainly use it for the glow, <laughs> but I, I will try it out just to test out the lasting power of it. But for now, I'm just going to... It just like adds a very subtle like gold shimmer to your face and that might not be some people's style but I think it's absolutely stunning like I don't really do my makeup without it anymore they had the like I said they have the bronzing one or the bronze one and I really really want to get that one for when I'm self tan like when I'm going to the beach or something I feel like it's going to be stunning <laughs> like I'm so hype about these like I am so over the moon about these I honestly I passed it like 10 times in Ulta like over the course of a few weeks and I just I was like eh, I don't know I don't know and then I actually read one review on it and this girl was saying she got two different ones and the pump was like really messed up so she just gave up on it so I almost didn't get it because of that but I'm so glad that I did because the pump is fine I actually really like the spray like the way it sprays that's why I like that's why I try not to listen to reviews too much until I personally try it because somebody might have a horrible experience and you know I don't want to get it but then when I get it I actually fall in love so I just gotta try everything. <laughs> so now I'm gonna spray the Milani Make It Last. I love the smell of this. I love the way it lasts, but ah, 
the sprayer is a little intense and I always forget that so sometimes it'll like mess my makeup up if I do it too close but I mean you just got to be careful with it because other than that to me it's like one of the best drugstore setting sprays okay guys so that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed it I know I did I love 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 drugstore products they get me so excited so I really wanted to share with you my current favorite ones yeah I hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much bye